In the cradle of civilization, a remarkable innovation emerged that would change the course of human artistry forever. This is the story of Egyptian blue, a color born from fire and ingenuity, revered as a divine symbol and cherished by the ancient Egyptians. More than just a pigment, Egyptian blue represented the heavens, the Nile, and the boundless possibilities of human creativity. Today, its secrets continue to inspire scientists and artists alike. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of this ancient innovation, exploring how it was made, why it mattered, and how its legacy endures across millennia. This is the story of Egyptian blue. Close your eyes and picture the vibrant blue of the sky just before sunset. Now imagine that same blue flowing through the heart of a civilization, its waters giving life and sustenance. For the ancient Egyptians, blue was more than just a color. It was the embodiment of their world, their beliefs and their very existence. The Nile, the lifeblood of Egypt, flowed with a blue that mirrored the heavens above. It was a source of life, fertility, and renewal, its annual floods bringing nourishment to the land. The Egyptians saw this celestial connection in the vibrant blue of the sky, the abode of their gods. The blue of the heavens was also associated with Amun, the king of the gods, often depicted with blue skin. By using Egyptian blue, the ancient Egyptians aligned themselves with Amun's power and sought to capture a fraction of his divine essence. In the next section, we will explore the fascinating process of creating this remarkable pigment, a process that was as much alchemy as it was chemistry. Imagine the scorching heat of a furnace, the air thick with smoke and the scent of something altogether new being born. Creating Egyptian blue was no easy feat. It was a complex process requiring precise measurements, high temperatures, and a deep understanding of chemistry. The ancient Egyptians, however, were masters of their craft. The recipe for Egyptian blue reads like something from an alchemist's handbook. It began with copper, a metal associated with the goddess Hathor, known for her beauty and grace. The copper was ground into a fine powder, then mixed with sand, silica, lime, calcium, and natron, alkali. This mixture, carefully measured to achieve the desired shade of blue, was then heated in a furnace. The temperature inside the furnace was crucial, maintaining a consistent temperature of around 850 to 950 degrees Celsius for several hours was essential. Once cooled, the hardened blue mixture was ground into a fine powder ready to be mixed with a binding agent such as gum arabic and applied to a variety of surfaces. Step into the tomb of an Egyptian noble and you are greeted not by darkness and silence but by a riot of color. Scenes of everyday life Religious rituals and journeys to the afterlife adorn the walls, brought to life in vibrant hues that have survived for millennia, and there amidst the ochre, the green and the gold, shines the unmistakable brilliance of Egyptian blue. For the ancient Egyptians, death was not the end but a transition to another realm. Tombs were not merely burial chambers, but elaborate homes for the deceased, filled with everything they would need for a comfortable afterlife. The paintings on the tomb walls were not just decorations. They were magical portals, connecting the deceased to the gods and ensuring their safe passage to the afterlife. Egyptian blue played a vital role in these funerary scenes. It was used to depict the Nile, the source of life and rebirth and the sky, the abode of the gods. In the next section, we will delve into the diverse applications of this versatile pigment. The section five, more than decoration, the protective power of blue. Imagine a world where color held power, where pigments weren't just for decoration, but possessed a deeper, almost magical significance. For the ancient Egyptians, this was a reality. Egyptian blue, with its celestial associations, was believed to possess protective qualities, warding off evil and ensuring good fortune. 
This belief is evident in the wide range of objects adorned with Egyptian blue. Amulets, small charms worn for protection, were often crafted from faience, a type of ceramic glazed with Egyptian blue. The vibrant blue of these amulets, often shaped like protective deities or sacred animals, was thought to imbue the wearer with their power. The Eye of Horus, a potent symbol of protection and good health, was another common motif in Egyptian art, often rendered in Egyptian blue. In the next section, we will explore how the complex production process of Egyptian blue made it a pigment of prestige reserved for the elite and the divine. Section 6. A Pigment of Prestige. The Cost of Egyptian Blue. Imagine a world where color was a luxury, where the most vibrant hues were reserved for the elite, a symbol of their status and power. In ancient Egypt, this was the reality of Egyptian blue. Its complex production process, requiring specialized knowledge and expensive materials, made it a costly commodity, out of reach for most. The scarcity of Egyptian blue only added to its allure. It was a pigment fit for kings and gods, used to adorn the tombs of pharaohs, decorate the statues of deities, and embellish the jewelry of the elite. The use of Egyptian blue was a visible declaration of wealth, power, and divine favor. The pharaohs, considered to be living gods, were the primary patrons of Egyptian blue. In the next section, we will journey forward in time to explore how the secrets of Egyptian blue were rediscovered, unlocking a deeper understanding of this ancient pigment's properties. Section 7. Rediscovering a lost art, the science of Egyptian blue. Imagine a lost recipe rediscovered centuries later, revealing the secrets of a forgotten art. This was the story of Egyptian blue. With the decline of ancient Egypt, the knowledge of its creation faded, lost to the sands of time. It wasn't until the 19th century that scientists, armed with the tools of modern chemistry, began to unravel the mysteries of this ancient pigment. Through careful analysis of ancient artifacts and experimentation, scientists were able to identify the chemical composition of Egyptian blue and recreate the process of its creation. They discovered that the pigment's unique properties were due to the presence of a specific crystal structure known as cuprorivite, formed during the high temperature firing process. But the story didn't end there. In the next section, we will explore the modern renaissance of Egyptian blue, from its use in cutting-edge nanotechnology to its potential in fighting crime and diagnosing diseases. Section 8, a modern renaissance, Egyptian blue in the 21st century. Imagine an ancient pigment once used to adorn the tombs of pharaohs, now playing a vital role in modern technology. This is the reality of Egyptian blue. Its unique properties, once shrouded in the mists of time, are now being harnessed for a variety of cutting-edge applications, proving that even the oldest discoveries can still surprise us. One of the most exciting applications of Egyptian blue is in the field of nanotechnology. Researchers have found that when Egyptian blue is broken down into nanoparticles, it emits near-infrared radiation when exposed to visible light. This property makes it incredibly valuable for a range of applications. In medicine, for example, Egyptian blue nanoparticles are being explored as a potential tool for medical imaging. By attaching these nanoparticles to specific molecules, doctors could track their movement within the body, leading to earlier and more accurate diagnoses of diseases. In the next section, we will conclude our journey by reflecting on the enduring legacy of Egyptian blue, a testament to the ingenuity and artistry of one of the world's oldest civilizations. Section 9. A timeless legacy, the enduring allure of Egyptian blue, from the tombs of pharaohs to the laboratories of modern science, the journey of Egyptian blue spans millennia, a testament to the enduring power of human curiosity and ingenuity. What began as a quest to capture the divine essence of the heavens has led to a pigment that continues to captivate and inspire, its secrets still being unlocked centuries later. Egyptian blue is a reminder that the past is not so distant, 
that the echoes of ancient knowledge resonate even in our modern world. It is a testament to the power of observation, experimentation, and the human desire to understand and recreate the beauty of the natural world. As we marvel at the vibrant blue of Egyptian artifacts in museums or learn about its cutting-edge applications in science, we are reminded of the interconnectedness of human history. The legacy of Egyptian blue serves as an inspiration, urging us to explore, to innovate, and to never stop seeking new answers to old questions. This ancient pigment, born from the fires of innovation, continues to illuminate our world, a beacon of brilliance from a civilization that dared to touch the heavens. What other ancient innovations might still shape our future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more captivating stories from history.